I'm about to do something criminal. Last night, I didn't get the best sleep and I'm out of all my caffeine sources. So we are doing a morning pre-workout. I guess it's not even the morning. I get I got a late start to my day today. So we're gonna do, yeah, why not? A full scoop of some pre. Got the Chris Bumstead Favage pre-workout. The orange one's a lot better. That'll do. Last night was just like one of those nights, you know, where you just, you're laying in bed, but you can't fall asleep. It's probably because I was playing around on the AI website on my laptop, but it was just one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. The pre-workout's definitely gonna help with that. And uh, I had some cool ideas to kind of how to do some AI stuff. I just wanted to kind of like innovate on that. And I want to try to make something a little bit more unique, just kind of sauce up the AI effects to the next level. Yeah, I was laying in bed and just trying to make <laughs> Little Yachty look like uh, the Simpson characters because the music video reminded me of that. And then I just started doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, it took up a good chunk of my night. So I moved out of my parents' house about a year ago. I feel like my apartment now after a year is finally like starting to come together and feel whole. I'm a little confused right now because I got the Halloween bats still up and then I have a not Christmas tree with Christmas tree lighting and uh, an ornament. But overall, <laughs> minus the huge wall of paper textures from the V3, I think it's like kind of becoming an apartment. And the office, I feel like is finally starting to come together as well. There's definitely some stuff I'm missing in here. And if you guys have any ideas on what to level up and upgrade in my office, I'm actually looking to get a new desk because I cracked this desk screwing it in a while back. So I've kind of just been putting this bamboo plant right here during the videos and it looks pretty good. I wanna get one of those desks that has like the two levels where it's like flat and like you have your keyboard and mouse and all that stuff. And then your monitor and monitor stand is like raised a little bit. So if you guys have any suggestions for one of those, let me know because I'm looking for that after I've cracked my table. I already have the desk, but it goes up and down like this. So all I need is just a new top and then have like another section where it's like kind of raised here and I can put that stuff on there and just a, like maybe the light. So it's like keyboard, mouse pad, mouse, and then elevated with a little gap underneath. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know because I'm looking to upgrade this desk. So I have some ideas on how to use this AI website in a bit more of a unique way using masking and some rotoscoping before and after actually applying the AI effect to get a more unique style. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and look at some of the stuff that I made last night because I think it'd be fun to do. So the website I'm gonna be using is Kyber AI. There's a bunch of different AI websites I just find this one to be the best, just like overall look wise and easy to use. And I feel like it's just a little bit more customizable than the other ones. I'll have it linked down in the description if you're interested. Be sure to use my link, that way you can support the channel. And I'm working on getting you guys either a discount or a little extra points when signing up using my link. So there's a good chance it's already there. So if you wanna use Kyber AI, use my link, you'll support the channel and also get some extra benefits. Now the Lil Yachty Tesla music video heavily reminded me of The Simpsons. I think Cole probably tried to do that. It just has very similar styles and colors of like The Simpsons. So I was like what if we apply like a Simpsons AI filter on Yachty and at first I did it to the edit that I made in the last video and uh, it came out with some pretty terrifying results but also sparked my interest because I was like this is kind of cool and then I tried it on a more relaxed clip and I think it came out just a little bit better seems like more Simpsons aesthetic it's actually really cool what it did when you look at the original footage there was just some bushes back here but it like made like a mountain range and like put some clouds in the sky and actually did like a lot of like Simpson-esque style stuff to it. So I thought that was really cool. This one's pretty terrifying, but it was like getting closer to like kind of what I wanted. His jacket looks so fire in this one. So like, I feel like I want to like use some kind of like masking to like get the good elements of stuff and apply it to your video, but like also remove the stuff that like maybe doesn't like look as cool. Like for example, it kind of just made him look like handsome Squidward for like a little bit. And it's like, that doesn't look like Yachty at all. And at this point it was like so late at night, I was just trying out some random stuff. You can see my prompt on the left hand side. It's just scary face with lightning and fire. And then I use one of the preset style things. I think this came out decent. And I really like the aesthetic of this one. It was angel up in the clouds by the gates of heaven. Crazy prompt. It kind of turned Yachty into a girl. Like I said, there's like different elements that you can take from each one of these like AI and like kind of mash them together is what I'm guessing. Uh, we'll see how that actually turns out when I start to do it. So the first technique I'm gonna try is in Premiere Pro. And then the second technique I'm gonna try in After Effects. So for this one, I think what I wanna do is add an AI effect 
to this video and then just mask around his hoodie. I think it's gonna be a pretty simple effect where Yachty's face is gonna be AI, but everything else is gonna be normal. Think I'm gonna be able to make this look good? We're gonna see. So to get the effect, we're gonna have to export this clip. And then back on Kyber, I'm gonna use this transform one and drag our video in here. And for this one, let's go away from the Simpsons stuff and let's do like something scary. I feel like if it's like a skull or like something a little bit more like dark, it might be easier to like mask and kind of hide that it's AI. So let's try evil guy in a hoodie, scary. And then I just use their preset in style of a lot of the time, like photorealistic is one of my favorites. And then also like 3D rendering. For this one, let's do photorealistic. You can see that I just add like a whole bunch of stuff that I don't feel like typing out. So we're gonna go ahead and click video settings. And this transform slider basically shows how much it's going to affect your video. I think their default settings are pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it at four. And then it's gonna generate a preview frame. That way you can actually see what it's gonna look like. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, these are both pretty hard. I think I like this left one a little bit more because it has like a little bit of like depth in the hoodie more so. So I think it's gonna be easier to like mask out around. So let's go ahead and use this one. And now it's gonna take that frame and apply it to the whole entire video. So it does take a little bit. Bro, this pre-workout's got me like tingling right now. Let's go ahead and put this pre-workout away because I'm good on this. No more of this until I actually work out today. Cutting myself off and getting some water. And while this one is rendering, let's go ahead and start working on that second effect. Okay, so for the second idea, I'm gonna use rotoscope and I'm gonna rotoscope out Lil Yachty. Go ahead and freeze that. And I just got the notification that our first video is ready to be previewed. So back on Kyber, this is what our video looks like. And I think we can make an effect work like this. So let's go ahead and actually upscale the video to 4k before I download it. And you can see it says it's going to take like three minutes. I always like to upscale it just so it like fits the resolution and just looks better. In my opinion, I think it costs a few extra credits, but it's definitely worth it. And now our 4k download is ready. So let's go ahead and download that and then open that back up in Premiere Pro and drag it over our clip. It looks like it lines up like perfectly. So this masking would probably be easier in After Effects, but let's just go ahead. Since I said I was going to do it in Premiere Pro, let's just do it in Premiere Pro. I don't think it should be too big of an issue, but we'll find out. I'm kind of just going to mask around his hoodie like that, keyframe the position mask, and then we're just going to track forward one frame at a time. And it should do a decent enough job. You can always change the keyframes. All right, I'm already kind of over this Premiere Pro. I should have just done this in After Effects, but we're committed to it. If I were you guys, I would do the masking in After Effects. It's actually crazy how it lines up the opening of the mouth of Yachty too. Like that's actually really sick. So it looks like he's actually performing even with the AI thing on him. Okay, that's what it looks like with like no feather or anything. That's actually really fire. Whoa, wait a second, boys. What if we did like a, oh, that's 10 feather. I forgot like the default's like 10. So now with the clip, we have like this like transition where it kind of has a harsh cut here. And I'm thinking two ways you could probably solve that is probably just keyframe the opacity from zero, go forward like five frames and keyframe it to 100. Now this is gonna look a little weird but I don't think that bad. Maybe if you add like a flash transition or something, you could hide it. I'm thinking another way I'd probably go about doing it is probably adding like a whip or a shake. And then I'm gonna add an adjustment layer that has three frames on the left of the clip and then three frames on the right. And then from my boy, Tiny Tapes, Fast Movement V3, we're gonna use one of these transitions. Let's use this soft hit with a flash. Yeah, that's like perfect for that actually. I'll have that fast movement preset pack that I just used linked in the description. And if you use code Brian, you're going to save yourself $5, also support the channel and also support my friend Tiny Tape. So if you want transitions like that, there's a bunch of them in the pack. Okay, so now back to our After Effects clip that we have rotoscoped out and we have Yachty rotoscoped out. Let's duplicate that layer, remove the roto, go to the roto layer, duplicate that. And I want to invert it like that and shift the edge out and maybe feather it a little bit and then refreeze it. And then what did I want to do with this? I want to turn off this layer and go to the content aware fill, do a generate fill layer. And now it should fill this background. And now what I'm thinking with this effect, I could be wrong, but I think if I just do the background layer itself and make it look like there's not ever a subject there, apply AI effect to it, and then do just Yachty with a different AI effect, I can kind of have him like wipe up, but it looks like he came from nothing versus like, like it kind of already looks like a scene where there wasn't a subject, but once you put an AI filter on it, it's gonna make it look a lot more like that. So let's go ahead and render this. And then I wanna do just this layer, make sure the alpha layer is on. So when we go to export this one, 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think the AI will leave the alpha layer. If not, it should be pretty easy to rotoscope because it'll just be black anyways. So we're gonna do quick time RGB plus alpha. That way it renders the transparency. Okay, so we got those rendered. Let's go back to Kyber. Let's do that background one first. I wanna create a video of, since this one's the background layer, it shouldn't be character. It should be cartoon style in the style of, well, maybe we'll remove the word style then. Cartoon drawing animation in the style of Simpsons cartoon and we'll generate that one and while that one's generating if you just open another tab you'll be able to use your other video layer i'm curious to see if it's going to keep the transparency or if it's just going to make the black background so this one i want to create a video of simpsons character rapping i don't know simpsons cartoon uh, which one looks more like The Simpsons? I like the way that it has like these lines here and this one, I think this one looks better. And then this one should be popping up any second. Okay, I can't yet tell if the background's gonna be transparent yet. And this doesn't really look like a Simpsons character, but just to show the technique that I was going for, I think it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and just create a video of this. Okay, so it didn't actually go ahead and make the alpha layer, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I could probably just use like Luma key threshold. Is that gonna work? Oh, uh, cause his mouth or whatever. What does rotoscoping look like? Maybe that's just simpler. I feel like it should do a pretty damn good job rotoscoping since there's literally nothing on the background. Yeah, I think that'll work. And now we have our subject in the background. And I'm trying to think of like a cool way to animate it up. Like you can obviously just like play with the position, move him back into spot, which is kind of cool. Have him go like that. Or I'm thinking, what if we did like some distort chroma on it and like also keyframe the position to be like, maybe like come from the bottom, like this. What does that look like? That's kind of cool. It needs to be like easy eased. And then why not just toss a little vertical hit with a flash on this from Shake Sauce. You know what, honestly, I'm not even a huge fan of the Distort Chroma. I think it might just look cleaner with it just scaling up. Probably depending on the type of AI effect you do, you probably wanna match it. Like Distort Chroma doesn't really match like a cartoon aesthetic. But there's probably other cartoon effects that I could do on here that would make a cool transition. But if there was something a little bit more like space or cyber, maybe Distort Chroma would look a little bit better. But for our case, I think just kind of having a mask up like that is pretty far. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas of what you can do with masking and rotoing. This is how I learn new effects. I just play around and see, oh, what if I roto? Is it gonna keep the transparent layer? No, yes. And then like, I think using the content aware fill here is really cool to have like that kind of a clean slate background. There's a lot you can do like technique wise using some of the stuff that I did in the video, like masking or rotoscoping. So definitely go around, play with that. The prompts are a little tricky at first, but once you get a hang of them, you can make some better prompts. For example, that Simpson one I did on the character at the end wasn't that good, but I just wanted to show you like the techniques to do something like that.